Yo, what is going on, guys? My name is Mewtwo Fan Nate, and I am your coach of the New York Northerns. This is week number four of the PGL, and we are going up against uh, Sketchy Smeargle, uh, coach of the Seattle Smeargles. Link to his um, channel will be in the description below. He just got his capture card fixed and stuff, and he's gonna be start. He's gonna start uploading a shit ton more, guys. So, go check out his channel. Give him some love. Give him some subscriptions and stuff so anyway we're gonna get into the battle I'm gonna hit battle start because I know he's not doing a live com of this so uh, I don't want to keep him waiting for too too long so um maybe he is doing a live com because I, I did hit battle start it could be my Wi-Fi I really hope there's no disconnects I am a little bit nervous I am a little bit nervous um, I don't want to see talent flame but we're probably gonna see talent flame saying please wait until pre preparations are complete so this gives me a good opportunity now to pull up damage calcs um, while we're waiting okay so we actually do see um, a lot of st I, I don't see any of the stally stuff that I was expecting um, I do see the ditto um, which is something that I definitely saw you know coming that I definitely expected but wow, there's... He brought more of an offen offensive team than a defensive team. Which I really, like, I was really expecting, like, almost no. So it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, I think a, sw uh, a safe, you know, lead for him is either, could be Skarmory. He could go for either U-Turn or Volt Switch. Um, he might just try to get up his rocks with the, uh, Drodagon. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to get up my rocks. I'm gonna go out into bench press first. Uh, then um, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Try to get up my rocks. He doesn't have the best way of dealing with the Mega Swampert. The only thing that he could really hit me with um is if he has Hidden Power Grass on that um what is it called the uh, Jolteon. So um. I'm actually going to get rid of the Don fan. There's no Mega Venusaur, by the way, so that's that's nice. Um, no Almamoa, no Menchow, no Dewblade, and no Bufalant. So, that's good. So, we're probably just going to exchange rocks here. We're probably just going to exchange rocks. Now, I didn't check Cerebi to, to see if uh, this thing gets, um, gets Grass Knot. It probably, it could. It could definitely get Grass Knot. He goes for the Calm Mind. Setting up already. Setting up already. Which is a little bit annoying because I don't have a way to phase this thing out. I don't really have a way to phase this thing out. But I can go right into Shino here, and I think um, with that I can scare him out. Because either way, I will be able to 2 KO him with a Poison Jab. And this, this, I'd hope this doesn't do over half. It does, because it's a crit. It is a crit. I'm gonna go straight for the Poison Jab here. Um, he's could, he could definitely bring in Skarmory. Which would be the best play for him. Which I think he's gonna do, to be honest. I. Th so, here comes a Skarmory. Um, which, it's it's fine. And he does, and he does show leftovers. So, um, the Clefable... has um has call mind and this thing could definitely I'm just I think I'm just gonna go for a baton pass here mm. or do I just go I think mm, 
Do I go into Gene Ico? No, because he could definitely he could definitely go click Brave Bird. So I'm gonna go into I'm gonna I'm gonna hit Baton Pass, and then I'm gonna go out into Gudra. Because um his his switch into Fire Blast doesn't really it doesn't really exist. I mean Drudagon can if it, it could Drudagon might be able to take one, but. I can honestly, I can just click Fire Blast now, and he doesn't have a, uh, and he doesn't have a sturdy, so I can click Fire Blast here. So the Talonflame, I mean the uh, Skarmory Pokétuber, which is the Ditto. Um, it's gonna take some rocks. I could have I could have just gone for the Draco to be honest. I could have just gone for the Draco. He's gonna see my whole set now. I don't get a burn. Uh, cho chances are he is Choice Scarf, and so that means he can click. He could either go Draco, Thunderbolt, Fire Blast, um, and Sludge Bomb. So I think I can go out to Bench Press here. I'm just gonna go into bench press. Um, Skarmory has the leftovers uh, with Is he gonna get a poison? That does suck. That really sucks. Cause now Town Flame might be able to well it can't it can't kill me with one, but it just makes it a lot a lot it, it makes it stupid. It makes it really stupid, to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, he's probably gonna go back out in a Clefable. I, I, I clicked that move way too fast. I clicked that way too fast. I clicked that way too fast. I need to settle down. I really need to settle down. This is Skarmory. That's weird. Can I get a burn though? No burn. Is that Spadef Scar? No. Mm. Do I try to get rid of the rocks? I think what I can do here. I need to get I need to get rid of my rocks. He might she might go for spikes here. Um And so I just went out to Togetic. Because I'm gonna try to I don't want to defog, but the, the way that this is going right now, it's more important for rocks to be off my side of the field. He pulls a double. Into Haley. Well, that's definitely Magic Guard. I'm going right out into uh, the Meloetta here. Because if I can get up a sub... He's not, he's not unaware. So... Do I just click Calm Mine? Mm, I'm shaking. I think I'm gonna just click Substitute. He goes for the Moon Blast. That's probably gonna knock out my sub, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go for a Calm Mine of my own. I'm clicking Calm Mind. I'm clicking Calm Mind here. I want to get out. I, I don't know if he's going to go for his own Calm Mind. He, which he might. He's going to just go for Moon Blast. Moon 
Now I'm gonna click Psychic. I wanna see how much it does. I don't know if what he's gonna switch into really. Or if he's even gonna switch into anything. He might I don't I don't like that he brought the Clefable, because the Clefable makes it such a long and annoying match. It makes it a really annoying match. And that's not a 2 at KO because he has a uh, he has a boost up. But I he is weakened severely and which is which is nice. Now, uh, let me see if I can live one more. I'm not even gonna calc it. I'm not gonna calc it. I'm just gonna click psychic again because I could get um he's just gonna go for moon blast here. I think um I think I could take one more. Oh, another crit Another crit <sighs> But we're at the point where I can just come in. Um with really anything and just destroy him. Um, once this Clefable is gone, I could do. Well, I don't need. Kotsky could kind of just come in, right? I can just go for. Um, I can go for a Dark Pulse and it'll probably kill. With the with the health that he's at. Mm, I think I'll just go on to Dish Soap, right? And click Thunderbolt. Bench Press could probably kill with Earth Power. Or no, I'll click, I click Knock Off. I click Knock Off. Knockoff is gonna kill this thing with at the health that it's at. I'm gonna positive attack nature. This should kill, and if anything, he he might just click Moonblast. And now that he he doesn't have Mega Venusaur, so it's not as important um, to this match. Cause and I don't have I don't have Sucker Punch either. And if he, go, if he wants to switch in his ditto here, which, I mean, I don't care if he does, he'll lose a choice scarf. He will outspeed me, though, potential, the ditto, because he's chances are he's running max speed. But the, the thing is, though, after Stealth Rocks, he he doesn't have the same kind of HP that I have. Like I have max HP investment. Does Dark Aura stack? Is this gonna do like crazy damage? Yeah. So we're gonna get leftovers, and here I can honestly I could just click um, Oblivion Wing. I can click Oblivion Wing. Because, like, well, one, Stealth Rocks are up, so. Oh, we're actually faster than this thing. Okay, that's fine, so. Um, Ditto's gone now. Which is, honestly, like, that's. That makes Gudra, like, putting in, like, that just makes Gudra able to put in so much more work. And I'm almost at full health now. So. I think. Honestly, the only thing, like, if, let's say, let's say he's, like, split, let me, let me type in my Veltal set here. Um, 
because I'm max I'm max HP against a Jolteon because that's the only thing that's, that's coming out right now I guarantee it yeah all out attacker um, let me bring this Jolteon down to level 50 252 so I'm at 23 if I bring my health down to 220 and I'm at 94 percent and Thunderbolt if he's timid life orb it's it can only do 93.5 percent max and a knockoff is guaranteed to kill knockoff is guaranteed to kill but if he specs Has a 43.8% chance to knock it, to kill me. So he honestly, he's probably just gonna go Volt Switch. So I, I could take a thump. So I'm gonna click Knock Off here, because I could take I could take. What is this? Hidden Power. He predicted a switch here, so that Jolteon is dead. That Jolteon's dead. And he's Life Orb. Knock Off is gonna get the kill, especially after Rocks. So he made an over prediction there, which is nice. So Jolteon is gone. Jolteon is gone. And I'm at 216 now. And this is going to take more damage. This is this it just took more damage there. So now I'm at 216 which is um which means I am at 92%. And let's see, is this uh, Skarmory? Let's see if it's specially defensive. Um, let me print down to level 50. Uh, Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse does 47 to 56%. Uh, 56%, which means I could definitely kill this thing. I could definitely kill this thing. Uh, I think I just go Dark Pulse here, right? I'm gonna go Dark Pulse. And that's gonna be another kill, so that's nice. Skarmory's gone. So all he has left is the Clefable at like 2 HP, the Dreadagon and the Talonflame left. I'm at 230. He has Mold Breaker. So that means... I don't know. So that means that his attacks aren't affected by my ability. So that means if he has Sucker Punch, I think it means that it does less, actually. Um, so let me type in Drudagon. Um, I'm going to say... An All-Out Attacker. No, I'm saying... Let's say, he, let's say if he's the Assault Vest set. And he's at level 50. Dark... Uh, knockoff does more. Knockoff would do more. Mm. I can honestly, like, I could probably just go for the. I could probably just go for the dark pulse here. Or then let's go for knockoff. Let's just see what his item is. He see assault vest. And he goes for the gunk shot. So maybe he was predicting the Togetic. Uh, if he gets the poison, it's gonna be a little unfortunate. Mm. I think I'm gonna click Oblivion Wing here. I want to get more health back. And I don't think Talonflame can one-shot me since I'm max HP. So Dredagon goes down. And 
He's gonna take 50% from the rocks. Um, and I think my best play here is just to go for, let's see, let's see Talonflame. Let's say he's, uh, banded. And I have, let's see, I'm a negative defense nature, so that's something to think about. Brave Bird still, F, it still only does like 60%, 66.9% max with jolly banded um and knockoff is like has a chance to knock it out so i'm gonna go for knockoff here that's definitely not offensive that's definitely not offensive because that did like 30 percent and he had leftover, so he was most likely a defensive talon flame. And I think I just pick I think I just get a 5-0 win now. Eveltal did El Eveltal just kinda put in the work here. I think I'm just gonna click Dark Pulse. I think it's my strongest move. And we do get the last kill there. So that is a good game um, to Sketchy. If you enjoyed that battle, guys, uh, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Go make sure to check out Sketchy's um, channel. Link to his description will be down below. If I'm not sure if I already said that already. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to eat some food maybe just because i don't know i i still don't, i don't know why i don't feel that good about this win like it just didn't feel good like it wasn't like i don't know either way guys have yourselves a good day i'm gonna see you guys next time all right peace